so hello everyone today we are going to talk about uh, uh, in detail about python input functions because uh, you know when we take the entry from the end user we use input function similarly like let me for example i want end user to type their name so we write something like that an input function and uh, we can give a display message as well please enter your name your name and once we run it it gives a particular box where user can write anything and that value assigned to a particular variable let's say i'm writing uh, rohan i enter it and if i call name i see that this value has been assigned to this part now so that is the one way like we have taken just one entry uh, this way only one input was there let's say in case we want to take two input all together so how we can do it so let me uh, comment it take two inputs from end user right how we are going to do it uh, the multiple way i'm writing one by one so the one option is let's say uh, input one and input two i'm giving these two names right and um, calling an input function here and let's say enter two values i'm going to write here and i can use a split function so let me run this so once i'll run it you know uh, and okay so how we are going to distinguish it i'll be using a print function i can take like first input is i'm going to store it here i can use a format as well and second input is i'm going to fill it here okay and then using format i'm going to fill those curly braces which is inp underscore one and inp underscore two so these two values will be coming from here so first let, let me run it enter two values uh, for example i'm passing a b c and c d e i run it so you you can see that first in you know once user pass it so we split it we have split it it and then first value goes to input underscore one and the second value goes to input underscore two and then using print function i have put it first input is this one is abc and second input is this value which is coming from there so that's a one way that we can uh, simply use a format uh, in case we want to print that in the same line but in case you want to print that in two different lines so let me copy and paste it i can define it using that as well so what we can do print a uh, simple let's say first input right that's what we can take here and in case i need to put that into a different line and i can pass the value which is input underscore one and the same goes for second one print and that is second input okay and then i can pass input underscore two here okay and let me run it i can simply okay i can run it and the two values for example abc cd and here it is first input and second input so this way we have taken two inputs and in case you want to take more than two inputs exactly the same thing you can perform there then what you have to do let me tell you here in case of more than two or let's say three input what we can do we have to define three variables so let me give them a name let's say a b and c these are the three names that you have given and then you can simply use the input function let me correct it and we can pass and enter three values right and we can use a split function around it okay and uh we can uh, store it to a b c and we can display it using a print function so what we can do we can directly pass a and print b 
in case you want to give any name you can give that as well that will be a part of your display so once you run it let's say abc i'm just randomly giving some values and i run it and here it goes so we have printed these three well uh, inputs all together and uh, for example you know uh, in case you want to take more than uh, two three or multiple inputs at, at at a time so we can use a list function as well and we can type cast those and uh, you know let me give it example for that as well here for example let me store it to a new as a variable and i'm going to use the input function here and in in input function i can pass enter multiple values right so this is what i have given and what i can do i can use a split function here and because i needed a multiple values and let's say these are the uh, numeric values so i have to pass integer outside the input function like this and i have to close it here what else i can do i can simply map it with a list so i have to again call it a map function and let me close it and then i have to pass a list as a function right i hope it will work okay so um, let me print that as well print and here we can have list of values and then we can simply call our new here so once we run it enter multiple values like this and we run it i think there is some issue okay what is we have passed three okay i think it's one is extra no we have used integer input oh my god i needed a integer like this and then i'm going to pass it okay we have three close one two three are there okay fine let me run it and we enter it and here is the list of values so we have just uh, uh, you know type cast this using a list function and we have stored it to a uh, variable new so this is how we can do it and you know we have multiple options to do it we can use a list comprehension as well to take two inputs all together let me tell you that part as well so what we can do using list comprehension uh, that's a different way we can use it please bear with the spelling mistakes i may have because i'm writing quickly so using list comprehension let's say i want to take input and i have to store it to a different two variables let's say n1 and n2 or i'm simply passing input function here and i'll take two input enter two values here it goes and what i need to do sub, uh, split is mandatory that we have to pass every time just to split that entry and because we are using a list comprehension here so we can simply apply a for loop uh, let me try it here for uh, okay for n1 in input and we have to store it into a integer as well let's say integer n1 hmm. integer n1 for n1 in input and then we have a split it and we have to close this uh, into a list parenthesis here okay so let me run it okay okay we don't have enough values to get it we have this one we have this one and okay we have to store it right let me check it what mistake i made simply we have taken input and then we split it it and we have applied as for loop okay and then we have converted that into this and there is a list so i'm going to print let's say n1 and 
let's say n2 so two values at a time hmm here it goes so we have uh, because there was two sorry there were two values were required so we i have passed multiple values so exactly the same way let, let's say we have three values so we can pass n3 and simply we can put print n3 right so once we run it and we run it here it goes so this way we can i mean uh, take multiple input all together so we can uh, use a format as well in case we want to print it into a simple a single cell and uh, for the multiple values as let's say the same way in case we want to store multiple input uh, into a one string that's what also we can do let me write a code for that taking multiple inputs at one time right so what we can do uh, here also we are going to use a list comprehension let's say x equals to and we can use input and then enter multiple values right and then split we have to do dot split what we can do apart from this we have to apply a for loop as well here so that is going to be here let's say int i'm going to create a temporary variable as x for x in okay input and then i have to convert the entire thing into a list parenthesis that is mandatory right so i'm good to go i think now then in print i have i can pass direct x let's see i run it there is an indentation error let me fix it so tab and here too okay so multiple values we have entered and we run it and we have put that into a one list so this is how we can utilize input function in case we need to take multiple entries at one time so i hope it's clear to you see you in next video take care bye bye